With the Tories lagging behind in the polls, the Prime Minister is digging her heels in and insisting her approach will eventually yield dividends for the British people in the shape of economic growth. Liz Truss has asked for patience to put her full economic strategy into practice in the wake of massive market disruption triggered by Quasi Quarting's mini budget. Meanwhile, the Chancellor himself has insisted he had been left with no choice but to do something different in order to breathe life into the economy. Both the Prime Minister and Mr Quarting set out their ideas at an end of a tumultuous week which has seen the pound sterling plummet to record lows against the dollar at one point, with fears of a looming recession. At one stage the Bank of England was forced to spend billions buying up government debt to prevent a collapse of the pensions industry. The sell-off of sterling triggered fears that millions of mortgage holders could face huge rises in their repayments as the bank moves to ratchet up interest rates to shore up the currency and prevents gar rocketing and, as of close of business yesterday, sterling had rebounded to $1.11. Writing in the sun. Ms. Russ, who on Thursday conducted a round of sometimes awkward interviews on local radio stations, insisted she was pushing unashamedly for growth, she said, at the same time, we will keep an iron grip on the national finances as part of our commitment to sound money. Next month we will set out how we will get debt down in the medium term. We will drive reforms to build our economy for the new era. Ms. Russ who famously backed Remain in the 2016 referendum, added, by the end of next year, all the useless, EU-inspired